just yesterday, as it happens, uh, we had a, a town hall meeting in uh, Potter County. In fact, I see a couple of folks who are back with us again. Good to see you again. Um, uh, you know, we, we didn't all agree on everything, but it was a perfectly simple discussion about the big challenges that we face uh, as a country. I also want to mention that uh, it's great for me to be back in Carbon County. Uh, Congressman, myself and a gentleman from Cuyahoga County asked a direct question that we feel was not answered. So we want to know why you will know, not support taxi corporations and millionaires to bring more revenue in, uh, instead of asking working folks and working poor to bear all of our new taxes. The tax breaks we, they have now from the Bush era, all they've done is, uh, is uh, created a big deficit. You know, the job losses that uh, we have now started during the Bush era. So, you know, we need to get those folks that are not paying their taxes to start paying their taxes. You know, they get tax breaks and also get a federal refund every year. And I'm paying my taxes still with unemployment. I know yesterday you said you didn't, you didn't know that uh, you know, unemployment you have to pay taxes on, but yeah, I am paying taxes on, on my unemployment. Uh, and I still have to pay federal taxes. I may get a refund at the end of the year, but I still got to pay it now. And I'm hurting now. And so are 14 million other people in this country, and especially Pennsylvania. You were out of bringing jobs to Pennsylvania. It hasn't happened. All we hear is you're going to lobbyists and business, and business, person, business people you know, to meet with them, but nothing has happened. We're going to have jobs. We're okay. going to support us. Uh, I thought I answered it yesterday, but I'm happy to answer the question again for you today. And and I, but I will say, I'm really not going to apologize for meeting regularly with groups of small business owners, chambers of commerce, when they invite me there. And let's face it, those are the people that are going to hire unemployed workers. They're going to create the jobs. <laughs> Mitch, if you could bring up chart number 24. Um, let me make a few observations because I, this gentleman brings up a uh, point of view that is, is, um, is fairly widely held. He's not in a tiny minority here. I don't share his point of view, but it's understandable. Um, the question is whether we should raise taxes on corporations and, and wealthy individuals. My, my own view is the problem is not that we're under tax. The problem is that we overspend and the federal government has grown in spending as a percentage of our economy by 25% in two years. That is a staggering expansion in the size of government and that itself has a huge cost on our ability to create jobs to grow an economy because the more the government consumes of our, the, the results of our hard work, the less growth we're going to have. This is well documented, this is historical, it's around the world, it's in American history because politicians don't allocate resources as wisely as markets do, as wisely as individuals do sitting around the kitchen table, and that's what it comes down to. Who is going to allocate the results of, of the hard work of productive people, politicians or the people who produce it? I'm in favor of more in the hands of the people who produce it and less in the hands of government. But, but there's also an important uh, point about competitiveness because it's not the case that corporations and millionaires don't pay taxes. Now, you can believe that they don't pay enough, but you can't argue that we don't have corporate taxes. I would argue that the American corporate tax rate is too high. And here's why.